Hey YouTube, this is Apostle Stacy Woods. You want to ride with me? I am on my way, honey, to get my hairs done. And um driving, honey, on this beautiful Saturday that the Lord has made. I'm rejoicing and I'm glad in it. Both hands on the wheel for my safety police people out there. But I'm um, having a blast enjoying the goodness of the Lord. And um, I wanted to um, say thank you guys for all of your prayers, all your inquiries about my well-being. Um, just wanted to thank you for caring enough um, to inquire about me. Um, so thank you guys. Yes, I am fine. All is well. Doing well. Feeling good. Um, enjoying um, this thing called life. Yes, I have bad days and difficult times like everybody else. But you know, God is good. Um, even through those days, even through those difficult days, God allows what? A little ray of sunshine every now and then just to let you know that he is in control and that he is mindful of us. So um, anyway, I'm on my way, like I said, to the salon to find somebody, honey, to snatch these hairs back into order. Most of the time, I take care of the care and maintenance of my hair. I am relaxed, and I do relax my hair um, myself and um, wash and shampoo and keep it styled and whatever I do. Most of the time, I'm wearing, it, I'm wearing my hair in a bun or up or in some kind of protective style. I don't do a whole lot of heat on my hair during the week. Um, if I do curl, it's usually on the weekends for Sunday service or something like that or while I'm traveling on the road. Even on the road, if I'm preaching, I'm wearing a bun, most likely. Or um, I'm just going to the salon. So, I'm on my way to the salon because I want to get my ends trimmed. Thinking about um, refreshing my color, I'm not sure. Um, and I've also been thinking very much about transitioning into the natural hair. I was looking at some of my pictures from childhood. I did not have a relaxer and my hair was long and beautiful and healthy. And even though my hair is long and healthy now, I don't know. I love the texture of the natural hairstyles. I love the texture. So before I make up my mind on whether or not I'm going to transition, I'm just going to be doing like some washing, I guess some blow drying and flat ironing and not really putting any chemicals in it just to see. Because I really don't think I am a big chop person. Been watching a few videos and I know that they had said on one of the videos that you don't have to necessarily big chop. You can um, transition through blow drying your hair and through, um, you know, other methods, you know, doing braids or what have you so that you don't have to big chop. And, um... I'm, I'm seriously thinking about it. I love the texture. When I see my natural sisters with their beautiful, big hair in its natural form, I get a little natural hair envy. Uh, not in the I'm jealous of you way, but you know, it causes me to say, hmm, I wonder if my hair could look like that. I wonder if I could do that. And like I said, when I go back to my childhood pictures, I had big, beautiful, long, healthy, thick, natural hair and so um i don't know i'm thinking about it i know living my best life is gonna be all for it and my other natural sisters out there are gonna be all for it but i am afraid because i don't know how i'm going to look now you know i'm gonna rock anything i go go on in this head you know i'm gonna rock it right you know i'm gonna rock it on the outside i'm gonna rock it but on the inside I got a few questions like how is it gonna look and you know my family from the old school why are you walking around let your hair be nappy you know all that stuff but I do have a few aunts who have gone natural and my cousin has gone natural and she did a big chop and you guys her hair is gorgeous she does wear her hair uh, pressed but she does not alter it using chemicals. She just presses her hair. And she's always had long, pretty hair. Growing up, we both had long hair. But her hair is looking better than ever these days. But I just, I don't know. I have, I'm going to have to relearn how to take care of my hair. And I'm 
I'm sure I can do it because I already care for my hair. But I'm just going to have to become a little bit more educated about my curl patterns and my hair type and co-washing and the different oils that my hair likes. And I don't know if I'm ready to put all that work into my hair because right now, um, the only time I really have to work at my hair is every, what is it? Six or seven weeks when I actually just touch up my roots and that and, and at that I just you know do what I do and I'm ready to go I don't like to do a whole lot of fussing over my hair not even at night honey when I go to bed I like to go to bed I don't want to do no roller sets and um, bank bank what is that the bantu knots and the twist outs and the braid outs honey I don't want to braid nothing when I'm tired Normally, I will push myself and push myself until I fall out. So normally, I end up going to sleep on the couch first. Then, around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, I might stumble to the bedroom and actually lay down. And that's just how I roll. So having to roll hair and twist hair and braid hair and tie up hair and moisturize, honey, that's a lot. That seems like a lot of work. I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that lifestyle. And I don't want to go through the ugly stage either, where you know you gotta go through that growing out process, honey. I don't know. So I'm reviewing the pros and the cons of a natural hair uh, lifestyle, because I know it's a lifestyle. But anyway, you guys, um, that's what's on my mind. It's, it's a beautiful day here. Um, it's been kind of cool lately, but. Today, as you can see, I have on my little short sleeve sweater, and um, I'm enjoying the sunshine. It's been kind of rainy for the last couple of days, so I pray that you all enjoy your weekend and that um, you are living the life that God promised us. You know, a couple of Sundays ago, we celebrated his resurrection, how he got up from the grave with all power in his hand. And he came that we might live that life abundantly. You know, we're not supposed to be going through this life sad and sorry and depressed every day. Now, yes, you're going to have some ups and some downs, but you're not supposed to be going through this life every day sad and depressed and disgusted and busted and can't be trusted, like my bishop um, would say. We, we're supposed to be enjoying um, this life that God has given us. So what? You got a few bills. So what? You know, you got a few aches and pains. Honey, take them aches and pains and bless the Lord. Enjoy Him. Because we only get one chance. One. One chance to live this life. And I, I, I am not, I am absolutely, positively, totally not going to live a saved life, Holy Ghost filled and depressed. Oh no. That defeat the purpose. That's an oxymoron. I didn't get saved. Hallelujah. I wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost to live a depressed life. I'm ready to just stretch out and let God show me what living abundantly is all about. My God. And you know what? Even as I'm talking, as I pass on my left side, guess what, you guys? I just saw a funeral procession. That's right. A funeral procession. Just drove by me while I'm making this. Hallelujah. Y'all don't, don't do that to me while I'm driving. I already, driving is already my prayer closet. But I'm, what I'm saying is a funeral procession just drove past me while I'm talking to you all making this video. That's confirmation to me saying, yeah, girl, live the best life. Live every day of your life living on purpose, walking in purpose. Because it could have been the other way. So I'm not here to do all of that. I'm just here to share a little bit of this thing called my life. And uh, I pray that you all are living your life. I really do. Don't live vicariously through anybody else. Don't be watching these videos, watching me live and do, uh-oh, I'm 
Sorry, y'all. I hit a curve. <laughs> but don't don't live your life watching me do these videos and watching me enjoy the Lord and watching me preach this gospel all over the country and sing and do what I do. And you still never get the point of why I'm doing this. I'm doing it because as Christians, we need to know that our life does not just start existing on a Sunday morning. <laughs> no, no, we're supposed to live every day of our lives giving God the glory, reflecting his glory, reflecting his blessings, reflecting his grace. We're supposed to be living that every day. And that's why I do these videos. To show you the different dimensions of who I am. Not just as a preacher. Not just as an apostle, but as a person. Okay? So I'm going to go. Uh, we've been chatting for a, a, a while now. Y'all pray for me because I'm about to pass by Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. Krispy Kreme Donuts. And I love the way my waistline is looking right now. I like that I'm fitting in the clothes I almost gave away because I thought I would never see those sizes again. I like that I'm about six or seven. I think I think I think the count is six now. Dress sizes smaller. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I like that. So I'm gonna have to rebuke and buy this street. on this street where I'm going to get my hair done is all the places that you don't want to eat at but you want to eat at you know what i'm saying soul food places seafood places crispy cream donut places honey church's chicken i'm not really tempted by fast food i don't like fast food but i don't i'm talking about anything you think you want to eat but shouldn't be eating it's on this one street in the black neighborhood we going on from there. We not gonna we not gonna stop there. I could stop there. I'm not gonna stop there. So I just passed Krispy Kreme successfully. Used to be a time when Krispy Kreme had a big magnet on the inside. I declare, and the other piece of the magnet was attached to my car. And every time I drove past, it pulled me. A centrifugal force, a magnetic pull, pulled me beyond my will into the parking lot of Krispy Kreme. But the Lord has broken the chains on my life and I don't have to <laughs> I don't have to be bound by that anymore. But anyway. Uh, moving right along. Going on. You all be blessed. I'm going to turn this camera off because now I'm at the red light and I can operate with uh, safety. But love you guys. Be blessed.